Okay, so previously we discussed uh, the shifting operation performed on a unit step signal. Okay, where we perform the shifting operations directly. So here we'll discuss the same on a ramp signal. Okay, ramp signal, which is R T equals to T. Okay, for T greater than equal to zero and zero elsewhere. Okay, so we'll perform the shifting operation on that. So first we have the ramp signal. This is the ramp signal slope equal to 1. Okay, so now let us perform the shifting operation. First, we'll do this RT minus 2. Okay, so again, if we want to perform the shifting operation directly, we should know the sign convention and what does they mean in the shifting. Uh, thing minus means the shifting will take place in the right side towards the right and this number value here 2 means the shifting will take place by 2 units to the right so the shifted ramp signal in this case will be like this So the signal, the starting point, okay, will shift this by two units to the right. Okay, see, again, there will be no change to this, the slope will still remain one. So this is the shifted ramp signal. Okay, let us do the other thing also in the other direction. Okay, so let us do the other shifting, which is let's say uh, R T plus 4. Okay, let us do this shifting operation. Again, here the sign convention plus means the shifting will take place towards left, to the left. And 4, the number value here, the shifting will take place to the left by 4 units. Okay, so let us uh, perform this shifting. Okay, this is the time. This is R plus four zero. This one. This two. This two. Okay, so we'll shift, we'll take this starting point and we'll shift it to the left by 4 units. So this and the slope will be 1. So as the slope is 1, the value, the point where it touches this y-axis or the amplitude axis will be 4. Then the slope will be 1. So it will continue on and on, but the starting point will shift to the left by 4 units and will start from minus 4. So this is the ramp signal shifted in both directions. Okay. Okay. So we have performed uh, the uh, shifting operation on step signal and ramp signal. Now let us do the same for impulse signal. Okay impulse signal so the impulse signal or uh, let's say the unit impulse signal we know that it is given by equals to 1 and it's also represented as 0 
then equal to zero. We have already discussed about impulse signal. I have posted a video video related to uh, impulse signal. You can check out that. Now. The impulse signal it looks something like this. So this is the impulse signal at t equals to zero. Now if we want to perform the shifting operation let's say uh, let's will do perform the shifting in uh, both directions let's say we want to perform the shifting this so here we follow the sign convention minus means the shifting will take place to the right and this number this value gives us the information by how many units so here the the impulse signal will shift to the right by two units. Okay, this the impulse signal shifted to the right. Now, if we want to, so this is the impulse signal shifted to the right by two units, delta t minus two. Now, suppose we want to perform the shifting in the other way. Let's say delta t plus 3 then it means the plus sign it means that the shifting will take place to the left and by how many units by 3 units this Okay, delta t plus 3 so this is the uh, basic shifting operations that we have performed on the basic test signals the step ramp and impulse signal okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much